Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another project. So today we are tackling my front porch area and I'm really excited because this has kind of been a whole process. So whenever I moved into this house, this French porch was cracked. The cement was cracked. So my landlord had the um, stone repaired and had flagstone put on top of it. And then here in a moment, I'm gonna show you guys how it looked before they put on this railing and just had everything put together. It's so nice now compared to the before. I wish I had photos of what it looked like before the flagstone, but this is what it looked like before the railing was put on and I just started out by sweeping and cleaning the whole porch I wanted to spray down the brick and just give it a good rinse we did have some pollen come through so everything kind of had a dusting of pollen over it and if you're completely new here I recently moved into this house and I've been going through and I have been decorating different rooms I've done my bedroom I made it really cozy and a great place to unwind and relax whenever the day is over and then I also tackled my office space which of course doing YouTube full-time I spent a lot of time in there so I wanted to make it just a place that I feel inspired and our living room is another room that I have completed so far and of course just a place that me and my daughters can have quality time and just a nice spot for us to hang out in. After I cleaned everything off, I wanted to hang up some ferns on these hooks that my dad actually installed for me. Um, and they were a little bit short, at least where the hook was hanging. So to kind of make them a little longer, I added this cord on. And then I wanted to show you guys how I put together this furniture set. It was sent to me from YITA Home. And I think it's just great. It's got great neutral colors, no matter matter what decor you decide to go with in your outdoor space. The furniture is super comfortable and it was really, really simple to put together. So of course I'll leave a link in the description box to this set. It's also very, very affordable and I feel like the quality is top notch for the price. So if you're looking for a set for a small space like mine, this one works out perfectly. It does also have a coffee table with it, but my space didn't allow for me to utilize that, but I wanted to add that in. And then it also came with these yellow pillows, which I did not use because I went with more of a black and white and neutral color scheme. I added in these pillows that I got at Hobby Lobby, the black and white um, printed ones with the black tassels are outdoor pillows. The other two with the pom-poms and the words on them are actually indoor pillows, but since this was a covered space, I wasn't too worried about it. And one little tip I have for you to clean your outdoor pillows because of the pollen and the dust that can happen is just take a lint roller over them. It really helps to clean them and and it's an easy, fast way to get them looking nice and crisp again. And then the next thing I did was hang up some globe lights. I actually hung these up with cup hooks, which you can find at Walmart in the hardware section. And I just kind of pushed the little screw into the wood on the ceiling. And then I strung them kind of in a zigzag pattern across the ceiling. I will do my very best to link up everything that I use in this video. I tried to keep everything super affordable, budget friendly. I didn't want to spend a ton of money on this space. I just wanted it to be relaxing so it's a nice wind down space at the end of the day or if I have guests over, it's a place we can hang out in. I wanted it to be enjoyable during the day and at night. As you guys are going to see at the end, I will give you two reveals, one of them at nighttime and the other one at daytime. The next thing I did was I hung up this sign and it is from Hobby Lobby. I just think it's really nice and neutral and of course it says welcome to our porch and I hung it up with the same type of cord that I hung up the planters on the other end.
You guys may recognize this rug. It's been in my kitchen forever, and I think it's a great way to recycle rugs whenever they've been a little bit worn out to move them to your front porch, out of your kitchen or bathroom or wherever you're pulling them from. And then I just layered my other rug on top of it. Next, I got these planters. I think that they are so neat. I wasn't sure what type of planters I wanted to do on the front here, and whenever I saw that these could just be sat over top of the ledge there's not any tools needed for installation or anything like that they were just perfect I snagged them and I think they also come in a couple other shapes and sizes and they fit perfectly over railing like this then I took some potting soil and I filled them up and I went to a greenhouse and actually just asked somebody there what would work for the type of lighting I have. That's super important when you're making DIY planters is you want to make sure you have plants that will work with your space. So if it's super shaded, you want plants that are okay being in the shade. If it's super sunny, you want plants that are okay being exposed to a lot of sunlight and aren't going to die on you. <laughs> and of course, outdoor plants in planters often need a lot of water, so keep that in mind that you have um, an area that a hose can reach to because that is gonna be essential. I got this little attachment that I can mist my plants with, which is really good, especially when you're in the dead heat of summer. That way you're not overwatering, but they are getting moisture on their leaves and just the top part of the soil. Next, I moved to the steps in front of the doorway and I got these simple white planters. I was considering cutting out something with my Cricut to put on the front of these, but I kind of like the clean look of the white planters and I also matched up some of the plants that were in the railing planters as well. When you're putting together your plants for planters, I often think of dimension. So getting something that kind of is viney looking, something that's a little spiky looking, something that looks a little bit bushy. And I kind of tried to stick to the same color scheme as you're gonna see here in a minute. And then these rattan lanterns, you guys, if you have a five below near you, run. They have them for $5 and I think they're so cute. And since I wanted to make this space really nice for nighttime and daytime, I went ahead and put these by the walkway. Whenever it rains, I am pulling them in since they're not necessarily probably the sturdiest to be out in the rain all the time. And then as an alternative to the battery operated candles, I think it's so fun to just ball up a whole bunch of these LED twinkle lights and shove them inside of your lantern. It brings an extra cozy feel and it kind of resembles fireflies, which I think is a lot of fun. So since this flagstone was just done and it's so pretty, I didn't want to cover it up with a large rug. And also sticking with the budget-friendly theme, I went ahead and grabbed this round jut rug from Amazon and it has some printing on it. And I think it's really cute and it still allows for the flagstone to be um, exposed and you can see that too. So. To match up with this kind of bright green color, I potted these small bushy plants. If I can remember, I will write all of the plant names down below so that you guys can have them if you're going to the greenhouse and you need to know what they are. Um, but I put these in little pots that match the white ones on the front steps to go on my little side tables. This globe lantern thing, I actually thrifted. I walked past it at the thrift store and I was like, oh, that could be so neat out on my porch. So I got these candles. They do repel bugs, which is really nice. And I put them in there. Next, I kind of dove into a little DIY project. These lanterns are from Ikea, 
but I actually found them at the thrift store, so I paid really next to nothing for them. I was so thrilled whenever I found them. And then I took these wooden beads, and you can get them at pretty much any craft store. I think Walmart even carries them sometimes. And I cut the string apart. I got my hot glue gun, and I gave these lanterns a little bit of a boho feel. If you guys watch my channel often, you know that I'm so into that style right now. I feel like it's just cute and inviting and refreshing. So so adding some of these beads to these lanterns kind of helped to extend that theme out on my porch. It's truly amazing what you can put together for such a little amount of money and make something look cozy and inviting. I love this all so much and I didn't really talk about this earlier but on the end tables I also have some round candles and those are bug repelling candles as well. They're at Walmart right now. They are a three wick candle which is nice so that we're bug free when we're sitting out here enjoying this space. Here is the space during the daytime. I thought I would give you guys a picture of both since I wanted this to be set up for both. And I hope this gave you some inspiration. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for a lot more home inspiration and home organization. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you're doing with your outdoor spaces this time of year. And don't forget to give this video a like and I'll see you guys in my next video.